Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. This is my review of the HTC Evo 4G. Now, of course, this is an Android-based phone on the Sprint network, and this is actually the first 4G phone here in the United States. So it's going to jump right into it. Now, this phone is made by HTC. They make really good cell phones. And if you first pick it up, you're going to notice the 4.3 LCD screen. The screen has a resolution of 800 by 640. It's very nice, very bright. On the bottom of the screen, you find four capacitor buttons to be able to interact with the OS with. And also on the top of the screen, you find a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. Now, on the right side of the phone, you'll find the volume rocker and on the back of the phone you'll find an 8 megapixel camera that's also able to record and, and shoot 720p HD video as well and to the left of the camera you'll find dual LED flash to the right of the camera, you actually find the speaker. Now, another added feature on this phone is actually features a freaking kickstand. I never had a phone with a kickstand before. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going to break at all. And good to set up on your desk or in your office or if you're on a plane, put it on the table tray and be able to watch movies very easily on it. Um, also, on the bottom of the phone, it does feature an HDMI out port. So if you have any HD content that you either record with the camera or any movies that you put on there, you can play it back on the HD TV. Just hook it up and boom, there you go. So I really like the hardware. It feels good in your hand. It has a nice little weight to it. Not heavy at all, but it just feels very nice and sturdy. Let's talk about the software. This features the Android 2.1 software, but HTC also put their HTC Sense user interface on top of that Android OS, which it really looks fantastic. This phone has really nice customization features. You have multiple home pages that you can customize to your heart's desire. You can change the icons on there. You can add widgets. You can just change the whole different look of it. Um, and also a cool thing that it does have with it, just adding the widgets to it is very easily, and not just talking about just your regular clock or your your weather widget, but as a YouTube widget, Twitter widget, you know, Facebook widgets, a lot of cool things with it. But the main, the main thing I really like about the phone is the really good customization for it. And also a cool thing you can do with it, it does have the live backgrounds. And some of this stuff you probably already know if you look at the Android-based phone. I'm going to hit them real quick. It has the live backgrounds to be able to add a moving wallpaper to the back of it. And that also adds a nice little different element. Anytime I show off that phone and people see that, they're like, oh, that's nice. This is nice. So the, the OS is really good. The internet browser is, is all right. Uh, I don't find it fast as, say, mobile Safari, but it's, it's all right. Um, looking at the keyboard for the phone, the keyboard I do find it's a little bit cramped. And uh, I think they can. They definitely said they are going to be. They are going to be looking to redesigning the keyboard. I mean, Google said it itself. They need to take another look at the keyboard. But the keyboard is fine. But I think it's a little, little cramp in portrait mode. Um, also, let's look at the. Uh, Basically, just browsing through the settings, browsing through the marketplace. Everything works very fluid, very smoothly. But one thing you have to notice about this phone is that it does have a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor inside of it. So it's a pretty snappy processor. But even still, once you get about 9 to 10 applications running at the same time on this phone, it does tend to have some slowdown. Either you going through some menus or hitting an application, there can be a one or two second delay if you get up to having like uh, you know up to ten applications running at the same time. But if you get a cool little application, uh, advanced task killer, I believe that's the name of it, tap it one time and it can be able to just close all your background applications. So that's a, a quick fix, but hopefully there's a permanent fix for this. And we'll see what the new 2.2 Froyo update actually brings to the phone as far as how that fixes that. Now let's just talk about the camera again. It has an eight megapixel camera, and uh, the interface for the camera is very simple, very smooth, very easy to use. Um, it takes pretty nice, decent pictures, as you can see here. It's very nice pictures. Um, not too bad. The HD video, it is 720p. I think it's 24 frames per second. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't. I think it's it's the best video quality that I've got out of a camera myself. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be as good as a flip or any other camera like that, a dedicated video camera. But I think it's decent. It's not outstanding. But we'll see how this camera stacks up to other cameras uh, or the phones coming out here with HD quality as well. And also, you can use a front-facing camera for any type of video chat application or any type of video calling or uh, using an application like Quick or uh, Fring, and it works pretty good as well. Everything was smooth. Um, the quality of my video was fine. The other person's quality was good. And uh, so you need to have a little bit of light. can't just be in a totally dark room, but the audio and the video is actually pretty decent for the video calling. Video playback on the screen itself is actually a joy to use. I'm here using a YouTube application to play back some high-quality video um, right here on the device itself. It's one of the few devices that can play YouTube high quality, just regular over, uh, I think it's over 3G and 4G. And uh, But I'm playing it over Wi-Fi, and just the quality looks really, really good. And it definitely the sound of the speaker being on the back of the phone does not hurt it at all. You can still hear everything loud and clear. So go ahead and check out this clip. Fire. And now I know some of you are going to be like, Ray, the way he's holding that cat is kitty abuse. What? That's not animal abuse? Now excuse me while I go beat my hamster's ass with a flip-flop. Um, so... Overall, the HTC software runs fine on here. Again, if you get about 9 to 10 applications running, it does tend to slow down. But uh, um, voice quality on this thing, it sounds pretty nice and not, nothing bad at all. It didn't have that many drop calls at all on this phone. 
And um, also you can set this thing up. The one cool feature of this phone is you can use it as a mobile hotspot itself. So everybody know about the Verizon Mi5, the Sprint Mi5, but this thing can create a Wi-Fi bubble using the 3G or 4G network. It creates a Wi-Fi bubble around you so you can have your IMAX or five, I think up between five and eight different devices all hooked up into your own little personal Wi-Fi network created with using the uh, internet off your cell network. So it has that feature built into it. Now it is an extra 30 bucks, but compared to what other things, other devices that do the same thing is normally 60 bucks. So it's a really cool feature to have. The speeds are great on here. I'm not in a 4G area, but we'll be going to a 4G area here soon. And I uh, will be, well, Las Vegas to be exact, but we'll be going there and I will be testing out the 4G and I'll put another video up with that going over that. Um, so having that mobile hotspot feature is really cool. It's a really nice little feature to it. And I, I'm just in love with it. Um, so overall, I really like this phone. This, again, this is my first Android phone that I've owned. I played with them in the past. And uh, playing with them, it felt really good. That's what she said. <laughs> um, but uh, I really like this phone. I mean, this is a great alternative to a lot of other phones out there. It's a nice, solid overall phone. Uh, again, I, get, I think with this new Forio 2.2 update, it's going to fix a lot of the, the slowdown issues with a lot of the applications running in the background. But I, I really can't tell you how good this phone is. The video calling looks great on there. The video chat looks great. And it's just overall, it's a nice, solid phone. I can't wait to be able to use 4G on this phone as well. So this is my review. I give it a salute. I definitely recommend this one, definitely if you're on the Sprint Network. But again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.